Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, you guys may know that I made this video of how to boost your FPS to eight times on Yuzu and that's when they introduced multi-core which was a really big step of performance. It was actually game changing because it boosted everyone's performance at least four times if you have a four core processor or at least three times let's just say that. So yeah as you know um, I can literally see it in this frame as you can see on the bottom here it said 20 FPS before and then it was 30 FPS smooth. Now here I had the shader cache in uh, it was Yuzu early access 518 and and it used 11.8 gigabytes. Now this was while well, moving gameplay uh, in the wild area. But today I tested 518 versus 1156. And the reason for that is because they added various kernel improvements using four jits instead of one per guest thread. So this results in significant reduction in memory usage and performance improvements also fixes several shutdown crashes. Now from 518 to 1156, a lot has happened. I've been streaming Crown Tundra. I made a video on how to install the DLCs and stuff. So I was testing this by just standing in the max layer, no movement, so we could get a baseline of everything. Build 518 without shader cache, use 2.2 gigabytes of RAM. I couldn't use my shader cache because it was too new, but in the old video, I used 11 and a half gigabytes when I was in the wild area though. So this can't be really compared, but it's, it's good to know. 11.52, which is a pretty recent version, but not the newest before this new stuff. Use 7.7 .7 gigabytes of RAM. 11.56 and probably newer if the link down below is newer. Use 7.3 gigabytes of RAM which is 5.2% less uh, which could mean a 1.56 FPS difference if you were capped at 28.44 FPS. So this could mean that you are getting the full 30 now. But there is a 5% improvement, which is a lot. It might not sound like a lot, but it is. So without shader cache used, the uh, CPU used 15% in uh, 518, as well as in 1152. Now in 1156, it used 14% of my CPU, which is 6.66% less than in 1152 and 518, which could lead to a 2 FPS difference if you were on 28 FPS on 100% CPU. It could change to a 2 FPS uh, boost to a stable 30 FPS in this case. Now the GPU in 518 was using 28% without shader cache which makes sense it would be less w if we had shader cache and in the fps boost video it used 31 percent with shader cache but it was in the wild area again so it's a tougher area and it was moving this was just a still gameplay so there's really no comparison sadly both 1152 and 1156 used 23 percent of my gpu so those are basically the same. Now keep in mind that my CPU is a 5 gigahertz overclocked 8700K uh, and my GPU is a 2060 and I have 32 gigabytes of RAM in my system. None of this was bottlenecked by the system itself. This is like raw performance boost of the software. So yeah, results may vary, but especially on lower end systems, I expect this to have a bigger difference because 0.4 gigabytes is not a lot of change for me, but for someone who has 16 gigabytes of RAM, it's two and a half percent of their RAM, which is extra usable. So that is pretty cool. Now 518 ran at like 98% speed when it was, you know, in max layer without the shader cache, which kind of makes sense. And 1152 and 1156 ran at 100% speed. I think in the, the wild area video, in the FPS boost video, link down below if you want to still see it, it wasn't running at 100 percent either all the time in my latest streams it never dropped below 30 fps so it's it's very stable lately so yeah normally i would have a side by side by side but i don't want to get claimed by nintendo so yeah you just have to take my word and my calculations for it so as always the link to the new yuzu ea is in the description also check out 128 bitbay their discord server they help a lot by getting these builds out 
And uh, yeah, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. And we hopefully will hit 20k at the end of 2020. Let's make it happen. And uh, yeah, leave a like if this video was helpful. And let me know down in the comments what games you want me to make tutorials on. Or what tutorial I should update and make a new one on. Now that's all from me. Peace out guys. Peace.